The drought has been felt throughout the state and especially hard hit is the Tulare County community of East Porterville. On Friday, June 10th, the Community Services Employment Training Agency held a drought resource fair to bring information and help to East Porterville residents as they continue to face challenges caused by the drought and dry wells. We're water restricted right now so we can't water our lawns. We've got to take shorter showers and use less water around the house every day practically. So we're trying to conserve as much as we can because we're on a well and it's almost gone. The California Department of Water Resources was at the resource fair providing information to drought-stricken residents. During the drought, uh, we've had over 4,500 reported dry wells. 1,500 of them are in Tulare County, and 500 of them are right here. So we've been working on an emergency project to get water to the, to the households that don't have water. The California State Water Resources Control Board was also there providing important information about plans in the works to help this community and offer some relief. Information was provided to residents in both English and Spanish. The most important to me is, is regarding the well, and we're having another meeting on the 23rd of June, which I'm very interested in it, because if I could get the city water into my property, where our plans is to move back to Porto, because my land's paid off. So. State, local, and community agencies, including Cal OES, continue to work together to develop short and long-term solutions to the drought and dry well problem in East Porterville. California is in the fifth year of drought. Although recent rains provided some relief, the drought remains a serious problem and Californians are still urged to conserve.